What the hell? What the, why is this thing like that? It's hanging from a wire or something. Okay, I've used that. Didn't seem to do anything. Or well, has it? I don't know, I'm not too sure. Bloody hell, Alan, this gas station is still far away, isn't it? Been trekking for miles. Still no hope. <coughs> this guy this, this guy just loves to talk retarded, doesn't he? He's changing a spark plug apparently. Better watch out for some poltergeist objects around this area. Unless that thing tries to fall on me. And look at who it is, it's the fucking axe man. And his gay chum. All his boyfriends. Ah. Stay back. What I hear about this shotgun, it only can unload two shots. Ah, oh, you fucking puff. Better use the next shot wisely. Where are you? I swear there was someone else. Oh, there you are. Stay back. Right, he's got some ability, he can run fast. There you are. Show yourself, little maggot. There you are. This one's obviously the stronger one from the other lot. Takes quite a lot of hits as well. And a lot of roasting from the uh, flashlight. You will, Alan, don't worry. I'll assure that. Uh. Alright. Aha, here's it. I can see the gas station lights right further ahead anyway. At last. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Look at that big deer statue. I'm not impressed by many things, but this is fucking impressive, isn't it? Okay, so which way around? After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. I know what you mean, Alan. I feel reassured as well from seeing the gas station. Uh so we can find a telephone in the gas station. Let's take a detour to have a look around. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. It's a shame, Alan, you actually missed it. Tons of fun, you know. I wonder if there's anyone inside cooking. Unlikely though. Uh, I'm just going out to nowhere, aren't I? But you don't know what is down here. 
it's got to be something to collect. I can see something uh, glimmering in the light. Is it a coffee thermos? Yes, it is. I think I haven't collected this one. I think I haven't. Oh shit. Yep, piss off. Dirty conniving. Ah! Shit! Fuck you, motherfuckers. Ah! They can run, can't they? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, we didn't collect that coffee thermos. Well, not in the first run that I had of this game. Like, I came down this way, innit? Anyone who didn't know, now they've seen where to collect that one. Damn it, just give me a fucking break, guys. Oh my fucking hell. I'm running down to the lights. I'm not safe with you, dirty con. Okay. That was a fucking lucky escape, wasn't it? Look at them, they're wasting my bloody ammo, man. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Ugh. Okay. Let's just revive our health. Let's take a look in the garage first. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Hold on, Alan. You're quite a smart guy, aren't you? Alright. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the store, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix her. Story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Yep, Alan, I think you are. Explain to me how the fuck you was on TV. Find the phone. That's the phone down there, isn't it? Bloody hell, they got some nice things here for your car. Oop. Oh god, I dropped something there. Mm hmm. Yep, just the itinerary. But this is what I was talking about these kind of readable things. If you read them, then that's more of the statistics, collectibles, and stuff. Let's just get on this phone. Call the police station, which does never answer. Oh good, the, the police finally came. Meet a new character in Alan Wake. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. You what? Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. No shit. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. You should have told her that lunatic was chasing you about half a mile through the forest. This must be another nightmare. Because there is no cauldron lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. 
Okay, end of episode one. On to episode two. At the end of every episode of this game, a song like this plays out, so... What I done first time round, I just listened all the way through to it, but this time... Yeah, I don't think we're going to listen to it. It takes too long. Let's just skip anyway. Alright, episode 2. Oh look, New, New York City three years ago. When Alan was more, was a much happier man. Alright Alan, let's see your apartment. <coughs> Excuse me. 